new hoodie. Just gonna do some model shots for you. Hi, today's video is sponsored by myself. Um, I'm bringing out a range of hoodies with my Leave Me Alone clothing brand. Um, as you can see, big bucket hood, Leave Me Alone, so you can pull it over your face, right? And then you just put it up here and you can still see, like you can look down here and look at your phone. So if you're on the train or a bus or anywhere and you just want to be left alone, if this isn't enough, you can put this right over your face. Leave me alone. These will be available for pre-order real soon. There are two types of parents and you'll be able to tell who you are when I say the following sentence. What happens in the third week of August? Now either you're so prepared that you go straight to your craft cupboard and a couple of books that your kids are reading to plan out exactly what you're gonna be doing on the third week of August. Or are you parent B, which is what I would be, not a clue what goes on in August. Are they supposed to be at school? Is it school holidays? What's going on? The third week of August every year that rolls around, it's the same deal, is book week. And that is where your kids dress as a book character and go to school and do book things. I don't even know what they do. I don't even have kids. There are some parents out there um, who just really go above and beyond to make sure that their kids stands out at book week. Now, no shade to them. My mum, Miss Karen Hull, legendary when book week would roll around it would be quite full on she was a dressmaker so she'd make our outfits book week for her was like the met gala you know my mum worked in fashion design so when book week rolled around all four of us i've got three triplet brothers would be like just dressed to the hilt one year i wanted to go as superman and it was evidently clear from this outfit that my mother really wanted a daughter because she made me a superman outfit not any superman outfit this Midrift Superman outfit. Could I look any gay? So book week has recently been and gone and every year I ask people to share their book week costumes and today we're gonna go through them. Okay, this one's a video from Emma. It says, my daughter wanted to be a transformer. <gasps> Bless. So I made her this costume and I won first place. Sarah, you are the best. Sarah says, this was my effort a couple of years ago for my youngest daughter. All the other girls at daycare were princesses. Lillian, <laughs> Lillian, <laughs> Lillian wanted to go as a fart. <laughs> I bloody love this kid. She has also gone to book week as David Bowie and asked for David Bowie. Bowie is a narwhale for her seventh birthday cake. <laughs> oh my God, Lillian is an amazing child. <laughs> Mo Moaning Myrtle from Harry Potter. <laughs> she's, got a, she's wearing a toilet seat. Sweetheart said she will feed her husband to the tigers. Oh, man. <laughs> I just put my kid in a mismatched costume in the hopes that there was a book called Hot Dog and the Scary Mask. <laughs> that screams of, oh, shit. You were supposed to go as a book week character. Get to the costume bin. Okay, you're going as a hot dog and put this mask on and we'll just make up that there's a book about it. <laughs> oh, Linda, her daughter went as the Lorax. Minecraft is popular in our house. So of course they wanted to go in costumes for that. 
and there is a video attached in this one. Yeah, I clearly have no idea what Minecraft is. Didn't even know there were horses in. Couldn't you have just gone as like Sea Biscuit? Like, oh, we'll, we'll make you a horse, but you can go as Sea Biscuit. The story. Twins. Jude has twins, and dress them up as Peter Pan and his shadow. <gasps> Why is that so clever? That is a really smart outfit. I just saw the next one. <laughs> <Yes. gasps> Caitlin's dressed her kid up as Grug. <laughs> the children's bitch. <laughs> oh, that is just absolutely outstanding. Oh, okay. Here's like Grug on a budget. <laughs> June's kid. Oh, that's cute. Look at this Grug. I mean, not as good as the other one, but still a good Grug. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, there's so, it's, there's so many grugs. Jade's kid also wins <laughs> <it's> grug. <laughs> oh man, that's good. That's funny. Oh, oh Felicity. Felicity is a childcare educator and she made a costume, the rainbow fish. <laughs> oh, that's, look, I'm not gonna lie. That is quite, that is dedication. What a dedicated childcare educator. She probably gets pissed on and pooped on every day. Felicity, I salute you. Amanda says, I had two hours to throw this one together. Amanda and her child have gone with Coraline. You know, <laughs> it's really good. I'm, I'm laughing because it's just like, it's a yellow raincoat and a great wig. It's, it's literally Coraline. You could not have improved on that outfit one bit. Maybe got a satchel. Oh, Amanda, you did well with two hours. 10 out of 10. when the kids make their own clearly with no help from the parents tammy's daughter made her own she was devastated she didn't win uh, this is her this is her. oh it's so good it's so good well look tammy she's one in our hearts Belinda's daughter couldn't decide whether to go as Dorothy or the Wicked Witch. Why not have both? <laughs> oh uh, that is very good. Oh, wow. There's just a comment here from Amanda that says, my darling boy refused to wear an outfit for book week. The kicker is <laughs> Amanda owns, <laughs> Amanda owns a costume shop. <laughs> And her kid just flat out refused. Okay, here's Stephanie. She is definitely parent B and didn't realize book week is always in the third week of August. She says here, I made both my kids costumes. They sprung it on me with 48 hours notice. Okay, Stephanie, no, I, I mean, I don't want to criticize. Book week is always in August. It's always in the third week. <laughs> the costumes are excellent though. That Minecraft one looks like it took up more than 48 hours. And is the other one Voldemort? God, I get so much joy at book week. Um, I mean, I never want to have children. And if I were to, which I won't, I would be the parent of like Ralph Wiggum. Well, if you'd like to share your book week submission, I might do a part two. Um, feel free to chuck uh, any photos or videos in the comments below and uh, I'll see you soon. In the meantime, leave me alone, please. Leave me alone. Thank you. Click here to subscribe. Ah. <laughs> oh, this really hurts my knees.